Oh well. <laughs> well, hey guys. Um, I, I don't know, man. It's pickup leftovers, but I, I got too much stuff. Uh, there's too much stuff. I'm gonna have to do this in two parts. This will be a two-part video. One today on Monday, and one. On Friday so yeah I'm gonna have to divide this up this video I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but uh, we'll figure it out anyways thank you for tuning in welcome to Ed's retro geek out this is pickup leftovers of the month so yeah summer that means a lot of flea markets a lot of uh, opportunities to get cool stuff now in this first part because there will be two parts of this pickup leftovers um, I'm gonna show you stuff I got from friends and uh, people that watch the show so yeah this first part we're gonna show you all the stuff that I got from some friends from some people that watch the show too um, yeah to them it's crap but to me it, it, it could be gold so yeah let's check it out um, these first two uh, actually came from uh, one of my best friends, um, the bassist for Time Machine. I'm going to be a replacement uh, guitarist for their band in, in a short while, somewhere in September. Um, but yeah, he usually picks up really cool stuff for me and I do the same thing for him. Uh, we don't really pay each other for it because we end up buying cheap stuff all the time. Um, so yeah, don't really know what's in here. but. Uh, it's probably turtle related. I usually get him Jurassic Park stuff. So yeah. Let's see. And here we have a mug for Donatello. So that's a Donatello mug. Um, I know you could get these with Reguletto or something. I know they also had like uh, cereal bowls of the turtles from the same uh, company or pasta thing that... Uh, would uh, hand these out but never came across those so far but yeah another uh, cool thing to add to the shelf then in here hopefully a turtle glass Let's check it out oh yeah awesome look how cool this glass is turtles mirage studios 1992 all right that's awesome I see have a couple of these but it's funny how, how many they actually made I, I really love uh, the turtle thing on there like the, the image they popped on there that's really cool of them surfing together like that this car can probably tell you a couple of things that would be cool for for these types of uh, uh, you know mugs that have like turtles on them or I, I know you can find Sonic mugs and stuff Maybe you can pop some video game carts in there if you haven't heard about this guard He does videos about how to display your collection. It's very useful. I haven't really used it yet too much uh, I think he's gonna have to help me out pretty soon <laughs> Because this is turning into a mess. My whole room is a freaking mess. Uh this game room turned into my YouTube room pretty much so yeah there's just stuff everywhere another thing that Sam got me from the thrift store is this make a turtle play stuff molding set so yeah cool it's in the package it looks like it's been opened before but yeah no okay this is pretty neat so now I can make my own turtles <laughs> which is freaking awesome so thanks again Sam and then I didn't know I was getting this but apparently I, I am so yeah <laughs> I didn't know I was getting these but apparently he, he just threw them in these are some Nintendo Land um, cardboard things that you need to uh, arts and crafts together uh, that's pretty neat and some Nintendo magazines so we got one with a Resident Evil cover um, yeah and it's cool that like all of the extra like cardboard and you know the arts and crafts stuff is still in there this one is still sealed in the package apparently so an Animal Crossings Nintendo uh, official Nintendo magazine so yeah 
Paper Mario. Oh, these are actually pretty good covers. Thanks so much, Sam. Oh, and the Retro Gamer. Uh, I used to get this magazine a lot when I lived in Leuven, but uh, now I, I uh, it's, it's too hard to get my hands on it. But yeah, the 30 greatest power-ups ever. It's usually a pretty cool magazine to flip through. Oh, and then we got uh, Nintendo Magazine for Zombie U. That was one of the launch titles that came with the Wii U. Uh, looked pretty cool. And what else do we have here? We have another one, and this one has... Don't really know what is on the cover. I guess it's Miiverse. And then a uh, calendar for 2013 when all the releases were going to come out, I guess. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. I like Nintendo magazines. I like Nintendo Cardboard and talking about Cardboard, um, I asked one of the the people that has been on the show, he's been shown on the show a couple times, uh, we actually met at a convention, we started talking about YouTube, he started watching my channel, now we're pretty much friends. Or are we not friends, Matthias? Basically, uh, I didn't have a camera guy when the guys from NES Commando came over. I asked him, hey, would you mind coming over to Brussels with me? I'm filming a bit because I also have an episode coming out on uh, the subject that we went over there and uh, yeah he was like all right I'll come over I'll even bring you, I'll even bring you some goodies and he wasn't kidding uh, he brought me some Nintendo cardboard <laughs> so yeah he brought the box for X-Men I know it's it's not a good game it's an LGN game but yeah look at that cover I mean anything Marvel comics oh, it's just cool a half and then <laughs> I already have the box now, Kit Cool. It does have some damage, but I don't have the cart yet, but at least now I'll have an extra reason to get the cart for this game. Um, don't really know what it is about. The fastest paced video game anywhere. A race against the clock that only lightning quick reflexes can win. I don't know. Cover looks pretty exciting. So yeah, let's try finding that cart. And then another cool thing he gave me was Super Mario cereal. And we were actually gonna eat this together, but um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll bring it over to a convention where we're both at, and uh, yeah, then we can eat it. You know, try it out if it's pretty good. And I see it's got some power ups in there, so yeah, power up marshmallows. There's apparently some amiibo stuff going on with the package of this thing. So yeah, uh, I am gonna eat the cereal. Uh, I'll keep the box as clean as I, I'll, I'll try opening it really clean. Um, yeah, I also have like the McDonald's box of, of the Mario Odyssey series. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just another Nintendo cardboard thing to add to the collection really. So yeah, Matthias, thank you so much for giving me that stuff. What else did I get? Um, oh yeah, um, the singer from Time Machine where I will be doing a uh, replacement as guitarist for... He also watches the show. He's been watching the show for like... He was one of the first guys to watch it and be really supportive. So thank you so much, Pete. Uh, <laughs> He, he had something that he was like, hey, this is 80s, 90s, maybe Adam will want it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I want it. <laughs> so uh, that thing is this Mighty Max in the box. Sure, the, the box isn't in, in, in great condition, but come on. It's one of those big Mighty Max play sets. If you don't know what Mighty Max is, it's basically what Polly Pocket was for boys. Um, so yeah, you, you would have this tiny playset with tiny figurines and you could play with it uh, and you take it on a car ride. You would take it on a car ride pretty much and play with it, I guess. Um, this is pretty big um, and he said there's some other goodies in here, but uh, just, I know, uh, I'm already pretty freaking excited to get this one in the box. I remember Mighty Max as a kid. I had a couple of those Polly Pocket type of things. Uh, I lost the guys immediately. They're so tiny. If you find the play sets now and they have 
the little guys in there pick them up because they're pretty hard to get those um but yeah i haven't seen this one before this looks pretty freaking cool he said there's some other cool stuff in here so let's check it out oh yeah there, there is Ooh. oh we got a ghostbuster i don't know I don't know, something like that one of the uh monsters or ghosts for ghostbusters the real ghostbusters so yeah that's in there there's also a egon in there with some funky stuff um his head lifts up his hair goes up and stuff like that so two ghostbuster figures really cool and then this is pretty nice um I'm guessing these are the accessories that come with him. We have a Barney uh, from the Flintstones movie. And he seems to be carrying around a mop. And he's got a cap. So yeah, that's Barney from the 90s movie. Thing. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I actually liked that movie as a kid. Uh, I don't know if you guys liked it, but uh, yeah, he's got some cool accessories. Of course, they always use the dinosaurs as a, a some sort of tool. So we got a squid he uses as a mop, and this one, uh, I guess I don't I don't know what it's called in English actually. This thing where you put something in between, but yeah, Barney. Uh, I think he had to start working like at, at a burger place or something as as the janitor or as a uh, the cleaning dude at a, at a burger place or something and uh yeah that's where this comes from so pretty cool i didn't have it yet so thanks so much pete um here we have the mighty max figure <laughs> now this looks freaking insane doesn't it this is pretty freaking epic oh okay so that shoots <laughs> uh now this Usually this stuff opens up, so pretty much this is a big playset, so it's got a lot of firepower apparently. So you can open this up and that up, and oh man! Uh, oh, the guys are in there. No way! So we got this little dude over here. We got a bad guy with a sword on his back. And here we have freaking Mighty Max. Damn, that's that's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, everything pretty much opens up um, in here, and, and you can use everything to play with, uh, make an adventure out of. Um, yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat, man. <laughs> Thanks so much. I I didn't have this one yet. Definitely not boxed. I don't have any of them boxed. So yeah awesome and it freaking came with the mighty max tiny figurine that's insane that's awesome there's some more stuff in here there's a turtle a samurai this is part of the disguise line so you would have surfer mikey disguised donnie and what was the other one so this is leonardo what are we missing then oh space cadet ralph yeah so yeah the undercover turtles so this was the um yeah i don't know how undercover this is because well it's obviously a turtle in a japanese fighting suit so yeah awesome uh and then what our stuff is in here there's trolls no clue what this is i guess it's a power rangers bad guy or something and we have some papers i i think it's for Connects. I don't know if you guys know Connects. Awesome, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy with this gift, man. Um, if you guys ever want to send me stuff, I don't know why you would. Uh, I'll leave a link to an address down below. You will have to ship to Belgium, so keep that in mind. And you don't have to if you just want to send me a letter. You can just send an email or anything. Or if you want to send the letter, I'll open it up. I'll read it. I'll even answer your questions if you pop them in there but yeah these gifts were awesome uh, thank you so much for uh, 
watching the show. Thank you so much for being my friend. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. Um, we saw some of the retro, so I think I'm going to grab something. Um, Kieran Jen. I picked up another Switch game for the Nintendo Switch, of course. And this is Sonic Mania Plus. Some say it's the best Mega Drive or Sega Genesis Sonic game ever. Oh, wait. Yeah, that does look like the Mega Drive. So yeah, the gameplay is, is kind of like Sonic 2, Sonic 3, kind of. Um, the cool thing about this is, is the Sonic Mania Plus. So it came with a booklet with some artwork in it, with some, uh, you know, the sprites are in there. You got all that stuff, some, some nice artwork. That's the book. Um, and then what else is in here? Oh, okay, yeah. Pretty cool story. This is not what it usually looks like uh, when you grab it out of the box like that, but I already switched it around. So in America, you got an alternative cover and it will say Genesis over in America, but over here in PAL country, uh, we had the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive was the Sega Genesis. Um, so yeah, they made an alternative Mega Drive cover. So what it usually looks like is um, this is the normal cover for the game uh, and it actually came with a freaking manual or uh, it's not really a manual but but anyway it came with a tiny booklet that that had some sonic on it it's it's cool enough I'll count it as a manual we need manuals um, so yeah I'm gonna keep it like that because well it looks cool it looks like a Mega Drive game that way so yeah, I haven't had the chance to try this out yet. I was busy playing Octopath Traveler. Awesome game. Oh my god, that's an awesome game. Um, so yeah, so far the Switch news. I can show you a little tease of what is to come. <laughs> One last pickup I have it actually happened over at Burger King yeah um, over here in Belgium we don't really have Burger King they actually just started uh, popping up in Belgium in the beginning of the year 2018 yeah that's how long we had to wait for a freaking Burger King I'm used to going to Germany or to Holland and getting my Burger King fix have it your way and that's definitely what happened um, as you can see in the footage over here um, I see that they have some Power Ranger toys in the Happy Meal I don't even know what it's called for Burger King the King meal I guess um, and I'm like to the lady who's very nice behind the counter by the way she was really helpful I'm like um, can you just buy those I don't really want to buy a happy meal to get these but they look so cool because they're old school they look like the old school mighty Morphin Power Rangers and she says yeah sure uh, and then I'm like well how much is it and it's like 80 cents or something she says or, or, or buck 20 I don't know um, and uh, she goes, yeah, I have these two, and I'm like, well, do you maybe have all five of them? And she actually goes to the back, she finds them all, and she picks them up for me. So, over here in this Burger King baggie, this freaking Burger King baggie, I show you guys the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They actually had the original five, so we got Kimberly over here, we got Jason, yeah, I don't know, should I leave them in the packages? Uh, I, I don't know, we got Jason, we got um, Zack, I think. Billy, the Blue Ranger, and uh, oh, I forgot her name. Um, I really did forget her name. Uh, the Yellow Ranger. So yeah, they all have some kind of an action thing, so... Um, what it is I might as well just open open one up so yeah um here we go oh he has like a karate chop move so as you can see they totally look like the original Power Rangers which is pretty cool it's pretty much why I wanted to get them I was like you know I'm just gonna get them they're 
cool little toys and I got all five of them so why not so yeah that was a fun trip with the guys from Gino's Eyeball over to Burger King we had a show later uh, somewhere down in Holland where we ended up playing as knights and uh, harlequins I was a harlequin for one night it was fun but uh yeah, I'm not really into cosplaying as Harley Quinn again. Anyways, uh, this is going to be the end of this pickup leftover. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely tune in next Friday because I have a ton of pickups from two flea markets and one garage sale that uh, ended pretty epically for my collection. So definitely tune in. I'll see you Friday. And uh, yeah, have a very nice day. See you guys later. Bye. In the water, in the white day. Up a barbecue. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's fine. You can help me in the water. Awesome. Yeah, I'm a white place. That's all the source. I can't help you in the water. I can't help you in the fusion. I can't help you in the fusion. I can't help you in the fusion. I can't help you in the fusion.